Now let's go toss some plastic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, today's video is going to be quite a bit different. I get a ton of requests asking for more behind the scenes footage. So today is going to be exactly that. I'm gonna take you guys along for an average day of a YouTube traveling disc golfer. Today's video is just a tester to see if you guys will enjoy this style of content. Usually when I wake up, it is pitch black outside, and that's usually because you woke up to someone trying to steal shopping carts, steal your van, a trash truck, car accident, you name it, it it's a possibility. There is a never ending list of ways to wake up when you're van lifing. For the first time in two months though, I've actually been able to sleep in a house. I am here at my lifelong friend's house. They also have a YouTube channel called Calico Cow Acres. They do homesteading. They can teach you a whole bunch of useful stuff that you can use throughout your life. So normally when I wake up, it is absolutely freezing in the van. So I will first thing fire Greta up, get changed, run inside wherever I am to get done, whatever I need to get done. And then I usually just sit in the driver's seat. I kind of mow over some ideas. I try to brainstorm some whole nine breaks, pull up the directions to the course I'm going to. It's always smart to hydrate first thing in the morning. So I definitely try to do that. I also try to get a very quick and nutritious breakfast in. So we are gonna wait for the van to warm up and then we are going to head to South Mountain Disc Golf Course. This is one that I have filmed on the channel, but honestly, you guys probably haven't seen it. It was way back in the day, but I will run you through everything that I normally would. And again, guys, if you wanna keep seeing this content, let me know, and then you can experience the visitations with me for the first time. Just had to stop for gas. I would have showed you guys that process, but as you know, we like to keep the channel family friendly. And guys, the price to fill up Greta is not family friendly. Let's get to the course. Another thing that I absolutely love about filming these small town courses is the drive to them. Sometimes, honestly guys, it's the best part of the day driving through some very scenic towns as the sun's rising up. It does sound corny, I know, but it is the truth. It's a lot better than waking up in a big, busy city, fighting traffic, trying to get to the course that's gonna be jam-packed with people anyway. You do have to pay South Mountain, so we are gonna pull over, you fill out a little envelope, get something to hang on the mirror, and we'll be good to go. And we're in. All right, we should be all set. We just got to put the coverings in the van windows and then go check this course out. We'll just leave those there. Oh my gosh. First things first, we'll check out the map of the disc golf course. It is pretty common to see these bulletin boards on most courses. Some still put the signs up advertising for a league or a tournament. It's pretty cool to see courses still utilize this. As always guys, remember, take your trash out with you. Camp policies, we have no, al no alcohol. Pack it up, pack it up, we're out of here. 
Craig, get in the van. Get in the van. So a few comfort things that we wanna look for at a course, these are not a deal breaker, but they do make life a lot easier because I will probably spend the entire day here editing, playing, trying to meet people, but we wanna look for power, bathrooms and shelter like a gazebo in case we want to do some outdoor editing. So the first thing we'll do is scout those things out and see how they are. South Mountain is a big win. We have power here. There's power in the gazebo and there is a cabin and nice bathrooms over there. So that is perfect. That's a bonus. Most courses do not have both of those. So when I do find one, this might be a place that I hang out for for a few days while I really grind out a bunch of editing. So it's a great start so far. While walking the park, I try to look for inspiration of funny whole nine breaks. Those are always planned, but I try to find at least two cutaways that are based off the course that I'm at to try to keep it funny. That broken down shack over there would be a perfect one. And in my head, I wonder how long could I live in that? before somebody would notice. Cause I mean, I think it'd be quite a while. I think I could live in that for at least until spring. I think I could get away with it until spring. Now when it comes to filming, some of the most important things I look for are good T signs because that makes the ease of flow so much better for me filming and also how much room is around the T pads. That is very important. Over time, I have gotten better at capturing different camera angles, but of course, like South Mountain, has plenty of room around the T-pads. It's not a problem at all, so that's a really good indicator. And the T-signs are really good. They're really descriptive. Signage from hole to hole is a bonus. It's definitely not a make or break, but it is really nice when courses have that. With water, something else that always go through my head is if I think it's worth to maybe dive in there, I have a wetsuit, I will jump and try to pull out as many as I can. I always call people back, but the ones without ink and the people who don't want them, I do try to sell. It really does help support the channel. Water like this I would think is pretty avoidable but I did play here once with my buddy and we were standing in this exact location. The basket's way over there and he threw directly into the water. I mean not, not even close to the basket but I did know what was coming. Luckily he did have a Franklin disc that I found. Another really awesome thing about the video production aspect is when you go to a location and you forget to film b-roll. That is my favorite because then I get to drive all the way back out here to get some shots to make the video a little better. So here we are back at South Mountain and you guys better enjoy this B-roll. <laughs> When I come across a hole like this, I do usually empty the bag on it. Guys, it's just fun. It's a good way to spice things up. I always wanna make sure that I'm having fun while doing this, while creating these videos. I never record them. I usually never have my camera like I do now, but hey, we'll try to knock one down, see what happens. It's only 115 feet dead straight way downhill. It is gonna be hard to get the nose angle on the disc to give this one a run. Oh, first basket hit. This is a really weird angle to be trying to throw this shot. <laughs> oh, second basket hit. Come on. Hey, we got it. With the Firebird, that always feels good. Let's see if we can maybe get another one before the bag runs out. Last one, the Halo Boss. Too high? Oh, that was a good run. Let's go, let's go try to find them all. All right, we are missing the orc and we are missing the Piwaka Waka. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Well, that was quicker than normal. We count that as a win. So I've just finished the course walkthrough, 
From here, if I'm feeling antsy, I'll do a bunch of putting practice, but more often than not, I'm gonna jump in Greta, try to get something to eat, warm up, and grind out a several hour editing session. I'm usually at the park from sunrise till sunset. Once people get out of work, if the course kind of fills up, I'll try to jump in some groups, hand out some stickers, spread the name of the channel, maybe sell some discs. From there, I will jump on Google Maps, I will filter out a handful of places that I might be able to stay that night, I drive to them, scope them out. Luckily, I don't have to do that right now because like I said, I am staying with my friends. But if you guys like this video and I film another one, you will see that process too. I will take you guys with me to all of the stores I check out, show you what I look for when I'm trying to find a place to sleep. I might film a little more on this, I might not. Like I said, guys, make sure you let me know if you like it, what you might like to see. I have no problem doing this, how often you guys would like these kind of videos put out. It is more of a vlog style, but disc golf is always going to be the main focus for my videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.